You heard it in the title, but RLCs will not be a bandit beater. If you don't know what a bandit beater is, um, how? But a bandit beater is exactly what it states inside the name. It's a game where you're primarily beating bandits as a form of progression. You most likely have played multiple games like it before, however RLCs will actually be different from that, and it's stated directly from one of the owners of the game. So Career Bros, he strictly said, um, no matter what devil fruit you have, seized stone bullets will melt you. Also, there won't be levels in RLCs, we are making a new grinding method. So, they're making a completely new grinding method for RLCs. And it's not specifically stated that it won't be a bandit beater, huh? but it is. And what I'm trying to get at is that RLCs is going to be approaching a different form of progression versus what we're typically used to. We're typically used to just, you know, going from island to island, point A to point B, and then whatever is at point A, we beat it up, we go to point B, we beat that up to move on to point C, beat it up, point D, etc. It's just a whole cycle of just beating stuff up. And it also opens up the idea for a lot of things, but what I primarily think it's going to be is some form of exploration. Now, the game is directly based off of One Piece, and in the show, Luffy isn't grinding on islands for long periods of time, and then moving on to another island, doing the same thing, but getting stronger as he does it, with a huge boss and a lot of sub-enemies throughout each island. Ah, he is. But One Piece, the main thing is that it's an adventure and I feel like this should reflect in a One Piece game because it's a One Piece game <laughs> and it also just makes the most sense as a form of progression. It would influence players to actually explore the sea and increase your knowledge on certain things versus you having to hit a certain level and then you move to the next area and then you repeat this process over and over again. It's, it's just pointless, players get so bored of it, and you can see that inside multiple games now. Like, the whole process of just making a game where you have to fight a certain form of bandits, and then you go to the next island and you fight some bandits again. I don't genuinely think that there's like a huge community for it, do not say Blocks Fruits, that would constantly enjoy this form of progression over and over again, but just rebrand it into a different game with different animations, do not say Blocks Fruits. Because if it was true, then people would be playing GPO. But why would you want to play GPO when you can play Blocks Fruits? I like how I said I don't say Blocks Fruits, but then I literally bought Blocks Fruits into this. My point though is that we just don't need another game where it's, you know, you fight bandits again just to go to the next island. There hasn't really been a One Piece game on Roblox where you're actually having, where you're just encouraged to go look at islands to get some form of progression or learn about the islands to get some form of progression. It's always just like, help us solve the problems on the island and the problem is just some bad guy who's doing bad things that they need you to beat up. Some people in the comments of the tweet were actually asking or telling the Road Brothers to make sure that the progression is not like a One Piece game or Fruit Warriors. And I haven't played Fruit Warriors in a while, but I'm pretty sure to progress, you do have to like get a certain amount of mastery for your skills. So it's like you're just spamming a skill and your mastery bar goes up slowly over time. And eventually once you hit a certain mastery level, it just, you know, allows you to use more skills. And honestly, I can see why they wouldn't want that. It would just be the same impact of grinding levels, it's just that in some instances, it would make the grind way worse than if you was to just grind bandits. Because imagine if you have to grind bandits for 5 levels, you can just constantly do the quest over and over again. It, it's bad, but imagine if you have to grind air to get your next skill, you're just spam clicking the skill over and over again. You could just put on an auto click for both of them, so they're both still bad forms of progression. Overall though, I'm actually looking forward to see what they do for it. I'm hoping it's some form of exploration because it just makes the most sense since we're literally talking about One Piece. Like, One Piece, it's it literally an adventure anime. Adventure is like one of the most important things in One Piece. However though, it is a passion project and it is their game. So we can literally get progression from collecting devil fruits and feeding them to an albino cow for all we know. And I, I know that was random, but it's a passion project. 
so yeah but um what do you think the progression will be you can just comment your ideas below and i'll read them just to get like a general idea of what everyone's thinking i do feel like this is a positive change though and it's cool to see that developers are trying to take a route or just have a change of pace instead of continuing the same thing that we're always used to and there's also more games coming out this year for 2023 like emblem tales you didn't think i was gonna say that but there are some games coming out and i'm pretty sure that those games aren't going to have like the same form of progression where we just you know fight bandits and then we move on or maybe they'll have it mixed in with some other thing so it's like a balance and when one side is just not overly powering the other side but outside of that if you did like the video then you can like it and if you didn't like the video then you honestly wouldn't even be hearing this part so you really did like it so that means like the video but uh yeah thanks for watching and subscribe I'm just saying, outros are one of the hardest things to do on YouTube. So, yeah.